Spills into Winnipeg's waterways could become less common thanks to new green infrastructure. The city is in the midst of replacing its aging combined sewer network, which funnels stormwater and household waste through the same pipes. During heavy rain and snowmelt, the system sends water into the city's rivers. To help with that, the city plans to use soil cells and other green infrastructure to trap and filter water before it enters the system. Brian Mays is the former chair of the Water and Waste Committee. So rain gardens, um, these sorts of retention ideas, so you're not just building uh, more pipes, you're trying to do some projects that uh, incorporate uh, vegetation or uh, basically are, are more environmentally friendly. Work to reduce sewer overflows is expected to take decades and cost billions of dollars. The city has committed to spending 10% of combined sewer funds on green infrastructure. A pilot project saw the city using porous construction material in back lanes. But issues around maintenance and uncertainty about its effectiveness led city staff to recommend going in a different direction. Soil cells were installed along Broadway earlier this summer, and more work is expected to be done along Leela Avenue as part of combined sewer separation work. Mays says the work has been a long time coming. So we've been required since 2019 by the province to actually do something on this, and it's millions of dollars we should be spending, and uh, I think we're slow to get going, but uh, it's good that we are finally getting going. The city's work on separating combined sewers could take as long as 2095. Cameron McLean, CBC News, Winnipeg.